Hello to all dear friends, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Blue Cube YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to save your projects and also how to import Photoshop and Illustrator files into Adobe Animate. Alright friends, before we save our project, we need to have a design or animation ready. I'll quickly create a simple animation. I right-click here, select the circle shape, and try to create a circle in the center. I place it in the middle and now I go to frame 50, press add keyframe to create a keyframe here. I right click on the gray bar and select create shape tween. Now I'll move the slider to the last frame. I want to turn the circle into several stars. I select the polystar tool from here, go to options and set it to star mode. I create several stars. I choose the red color for the stars. Using the free transform tool, I select the shape, hold down the alt key, and make several copies of the stars. Notice that the slider is currently on the last frame. Now, I select the circle using the free transform tool and press the delete key. As you can see, when I play the animation and activate the loop, you'll see that we have transformed a blue circle into four red stars, changing both their color and shape in this way. I activate the loop mode and play the animation so it runs several times. Now, I want to save this animation so I can reopen it later and continue working on it, adding more elements to the animation. To do this, I go to the File menu. You can click on either Save or Save As. There's no difference. The first time you do this, you can click Save or Save As. You can also press Ctrl plus S to save your project. I'll click Save As, choose the location to save the project, and name it. As you can see, Adobe Animate files are saved in FLA format. I click Save to save the project. Now, I'll close my project, go to the File menu, click Open, find the location where I saved the project, and click Open. This way, my project reopens, and I can continue working on it. Now, if I make some changes to the animation, for example, by moving them around, the animation changes. To save these changes, I go to the File menu and click Save, or I press Ctrl plus S. I don't need to click Save as anymore. I just click Save to save the changes to the same file. If you want to close the project, you can click Close and save your project. Click Yes and the work will be saved on the previous file. I go back to the file menu, click open, and reopen the project. If I create a new document in the file menu, you'll see that now I have two documents. In the new document, I'll create a shape like this. If I have several documents and multiple projects, I can save them all at once. I go to the File menu and click Save All. I can give it a name, for example, 02, and click Save. This way, both documents are saved at the same time. If I go to the File menu, select Open, you'll see the second file we saved is there. We can select it and it opens for us again. Since I had already saved project number one, it saved on the previous file and didn't create a new one. Again, in the file menu, if you click close all, all the documents you have open will be closed. If you just click close, only the current document will close. I'll close these documents now. Now, to import a Photoshop file into Adobe Animate, I'll go into Photoshop. For example, I've created a design for myself in Photoshop. Now I want to import this file into Adobe Animate. Look, this design I've made has different parts and layers. I've placed each part separately in different layers. Now I want to import the project with all its layers into Adobe Animate and create an animation. To do this, I go to the File menu in Photoshop, click on Save As and save my file. For instance, 
I choose the number 100 here and click Save. I click OK here as well. Now I'll open Adobe Animate. In Adobe Animate, I'll open a project. I create a new document and add it to my work. I go to the File menu, select Import, and choose Import to Stage. The shortcut is Ctrl plus R. As you can see, the file I saved is here, so I'll select it and open it. Now this window opens. Here, I can select whichever layers I want by checking the boxes. Clicking Select All will select all the layers, and you can deactivate any layer you don't want. The important thing here is to make sure you select the Animate Layers option so the layers are imported into Adobe Animate individually. For example, if you select Single Animate Layer, the whole shape will be created as a single layer. So, I'll select the Animate Layers option. At the top, I can choose Create Movie Clip. I'll name it, for example, 101. Here, I can adjust the image quality, but I won't change it. With these settings, I click Import. If you want the project to be imported with the original Photoshop size, you can enable this option. I click Import, and the file is imported like this. If I zoom out a bit, I can see the project better. You can see all the layers here, and they're separated so you can animate each one individually. There's a line here because I need to deactivate the background layer. I select the shape, shrink it with the free transform tool, and place it, for example, here. That's how easily we can import a Photoshop file with all its layers into Adobe Animate. Now I'll select it and delete it. I can also select the layers, hold down the control key, and select the layers like this. Then I click the delete button to remove them. Now to import an Illustrator file, I'll open Illustrator. So, friends, I've already created this simple character in Illustrator. In the layers panel, you can see that I've created each part of the character separately. This will allow us to easily import each part into Adobe Animate and animate them. But to import the layers separately into Adobe Animate, First, I click on the main layer, select it, then click on the three dots, and choose Release to Layers, Sequence. Now, I can select the sublayers and move them to the top to separate them from the main layer, and then I delete the main layer. You'll see that each layer is now separate and appears in the Layers panel. Now, I go to the File menu, click Save as name the file 002, and click Save. I click OK here as well. Now I'll return to Adobe Animate. In the File menu, I select Import, Import to Stage, choose my project, and click Open. Once again, this window opens. I can select all the layers from here, and I can uncheck the ones I don't want. I select them and click Create a Clip. I can give it a name. In this box, I also select the Animate Layers option and click Import. You'll see that my character has now been imported into the software, and all its layers have been imported separately. I zoom out a bit. I select it with the Free Transform tool, make it smaller like this, and press Ctrl plus 1 to view the whole stage. As you can see, all the layers have been imported individually, and you can easily animate each part separately. Alright, friends, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and until the next video, goodbye for now.